Hi, I have a stammer. We know that the earlier you can get a young child into speech therapy, the more effective it will be because the faulty wiring in the brain, which is the root cause of stammering, has not kind of hardened up. But once past the age of about heaven or so, only a few of us can recover and only some of us find ways to speak more fluently. But, like me, I guess you've seen advertising in which some companies are claiming that they can cure stammering. This is strange because the word cure is not used in any other form of health advertising for even for things as straightforward and as everyday as a cold. And that's because if you're going to make that kind of claim, companies need to have proved with a large number of people over a period of time that they can actually do exactly what they are claiming. And I must also say that no speech the, the therapist I've ever met has claimed that she can cure a stammer. So if these companies are allowed to carry on making these claims, two things happen. First of all, it gives false hope to people who stammer and secondly, it gives people who don't stammer the false impression that it can be overcome easily. Recently, the British Stammering Association made these points to every organisation in the UK which was putting out these kinds of claims and asked them to reconsider the wording of their advertising. All of them agreed uh, to do so, Ex except for one uh, whose claim was then investigated by our advertising standards authority who in the end asked, asked for them to change the wording and they did so immediately. But there are still an awful lot of cure claims being made by other companies in other countries and with the increasing use of the web as an advertising medium, these doubtful messages spill out all around the world and continue to give false impressions and false hope. If you stammer, there are days when the struggle to speak is so unrelenting and the frustrations are so immense that you might reasonably go to Google and enter cure my stutter. And if you do that, you'll be greeted by a list of miraculous solutions. Here are a few examples. Cure your stutter in three easy steps. A hundred percent cure for stuttering in only 25 days. A stammer no more treatment effective in 97% of cases. And two proven ways to stop stuttering. One works easily in under nine minutes. Now, it's likely that wherever you are in the world, you could make these same points to advertisers in your own country. And if they cannot prove what they are claiming, then you could ask them to change, to change the wording of their ads. It might also be worth talking to Google because they currently take no responsibility for the content of any advertising that they carry. But either way, if you or anyone you know has any personal experience of replying to ads which claim to cure a stammer, it would be very useful to hear if they were able to deliver whatever they were claiming. I say this because many people who I meet still assume that because we stammer, we are shy, we are weak, we are indecisive and possibly 
oh, we are all so stupid. And they feel that we should be able to pull ourselves together just like that. But as stammering is a neurological condition, it's not that easy. And so advertising like this risks trivialising our condition and obscuring the truth. Someday, though, I trust everyone will know the truth about stammering and understand a little more about why and how it affects so many 